Okay, so let's start out with the shop here. So let's see what we got this week. So nothing really too big, or rather nothing new. We got the same uh, recycled kind of stuff, but they did do a couple sales on a few of these bundles, as you can see here. Um, so we'll start out with the sale on Fire and Frost. So it, it costs 1,200 credits, and you get all these coatings that makes you look like Iron Man, essentially. Um, and I believe you get these coatings for all your cores. Let me see. Yeah, you get them for all your cores, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, and then you also get pretty cool looking BR skin. You get a uh, sniper skin that looks pretty sweet as well. And a shotgun skin, as well as a stance. And of course the emblems. I think this one's, eh, I think it's a little fair. I, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, you get like, you get some cool looking skins. You get them for all your cores. You get some nice looking uh, weapon skins as well. And a, a decent stance. And of course emblems, which I am not a huge fan on. But um, I think this one's sort of fair. Personally, I feel like this one should have been like a thousand credits. But, uh, you know, we could kind of take that compromise for 1,200 I guess so moving on to the next bundle we got the splinter desert this one's on sale as well now I don't really know the original prices to be honest because I honestly forgot at this point because um, I just didn't really care much for the shop back then because everything was overpriced as heck so anyways we got this cool splinter des desert I was about to say dessert <laughs> we got this cool split splinter desert uh, coating and we also got a vehicle attachment which has like horns on it, steering aid. Um, and yeah, we just get like a bunch of desert coatings for, uh, or desert skins for uh, the vehicles. I think it is for every single vehicle. You got the scorpion, you got the wasp, you got the razorback, you got the mongoose or gun goose, uh, the rocket hog. Yeah, so it's for every vehicle. So it's for every vehicle. And of course, a coating for your Spartan. So this one it cost 800 credits, and personally, I think it's kind of fair. It's kind of a fair bargain. I think it. I think I. I, I would agree with this one. I think um, this one's pretty fair. I would say. Okay, moving on to the next bundle, we got Cat Lovers, which I do not want this to return because now everyone's gonna have cat ears once again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't really care for it, but. Uh, yeah, we got Cat Lovers again, and this one comes with the pink little coating. It actually looks kind of cool. Um, and we got, of course, the cat ears. <laughs> the famous cat ears. And then we got a rare charm, which is Tabby. I don't really know what this is about, but it's a cat. So, And then we also got Cat from Halo Reach, which is pretty funny in itself. Um, and yeah, these are both weapon charms, of course. Forgot to mention that. And this cost a thousand credits for all these four items. This one I think is definitely overpriced. And I'm actually shocked that this one is not on sale. I think it just sells so well that they just generally don't care <laughs> about putting it on sale. Um, but I feel like they would have made so much more if they lowered this down to like 500 credits. I think literally everyone who hopped on this game would instantly buy this. Um, but I don't know. I guess they just make enough to the point like it doesn't even matter. Um, if they lowered it or not, you know, the people are so into these cat ears. Um, <laughs> I wonder what other kind of funny looking stuff we're going to get in season two that are kind of like similar to the, uh, cat ears. Are we going to get like dog ears or something? Uh, yeah, not worth it. I don't think it's worth it at all, but, uh, you know, some people think differently. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. And this one's more of a daily, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, another repeat. And this one is Setting Sun. It's just an orange rocket launcher skin. It actually looks pretty nice. Um, but it costs 300 credits, which I don't exactly agree with. I think, I mean, ideally, I think every skin should cost like one or two bucks. Um, so I, I would prefer if this was 200 credits at the most. But uh, 300, I think we can make like a fair little deal. Um, I think it's a little overpriced, but I mean, it is a pretty cool looking skin. So I think it's kind of fair. I mean, it's not f so fair, but I don't know. I mean... I think it's okay, I guess, but I would have preferred like 200 credits for that. Last but not least, we got our good old pal here, boost and uh, swap pack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't even have to touch up on that, but uh, yeah, you got your typical. I wonder if they're ever going to recycle this, or not recycle, but like rotate this out. Okay, so now we're checking out the ultimate of this week, and my goodness, this is probably the best ultimate, hands down, in my opinion. Of course, you know, it's my opinion. 
but like holy smokes man we finally got a black visor um and it's for the mark 7 which kind of sucks how you can't get it for all cores but you know at least we got a black visor because we were missing a black visor we're missing all sorts of colors but uh one of them was the black visor and wow man i mean i'm like excited for this one i think this is probably the best uh best ultimate so this ultimate is definitely worth it um i think every ultimate from here on out is going to be like mostly worth it at this point um because we've been getting back to back pretty solid ones some are a little more decent um some are just like really good so but yeah we got a black visor it's called bell tool i'm not exactly sure what you have to do but um, other than complete these obviously but I, i'm not sure what the ultimate challenge is all right so here is the black visor as you can see before we go let's go ahead and just kind of showcase it here so let me get a better helmet real quick can i uh shoot i don't think i have a better one let's try this one this one's a little more open so we could actually see actually let's try that the mark five or yeah we'll try the mark five all right boom there we go so first black visor i mean come on man i think this is sick Having plain colors like this, where it's just like, you know, a whole color, I think is really cool, just like this one. Um, so I think this is definitely worth it right here. All right, guys, so that was all the shop items and the ultimate challenge of this week. Um, pretty worth it. I think the ultimate is really good. The shop is kind of just the same recycled stuff, although I do think it is better than last shops. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think about the, uh, let me know what you guys think about the, uh, ultimate and the shop. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. It really helps me out. And if you guys want to see more shop videos, you know, be sure to, uh, hit the like button and so. And if you guys ever want to see more Halo content, I do a variety of stuff. I try to cover some of the newer stuff. Um, but you know, I, I like kind of just checking out all this Halo stuff. Right now I'm currently seeing like all the crossovers that Halo has done and kind of just uh, you know experiencing them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.